Hey, what's up, CompSci community? Today I want to talk to you about the 100 Days of Code Challenge. So it's uh, basically just 100 days straight to code for at least 30 minutes a day. And I thought that was a good idea because I'm learning front-end web development on Team Treehouse and I picked out like a few projects that I'm going to do over the next few months. So this would be a good way to hold myself accountable and to document the process. So I'm actually going to record a video every day too, just to kind of update everybody on what I'm doing. So let's actually, I'll show you real quick what I did today. It's not a whole lot, but the first thing I'm, that I'm doing is building a portfolio. So let's jump right in and I'll show you what I've done so far. All right, before I show you guys the progress that I made today, I just want to walk you through the platform that I'm using to learn front-end web development. It's teamtreehouse.com. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to check it out, they do offer a free seven-day trial, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, so you could just see if it's right for you or not. But I think it's a great platform. So first is an introduction to HTML and CSS, uh, HTML basics, CSS basics, and then it just takes you further and further down the track to learn JavaScript, um, you know, mobile first layouts, responsive layouts, and so on. So this is what I'm gonna spend the next 100 days working on, just going through this course, learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, to an extent where I feel really comfortable with it. I'm also gonna make three different projects. The first one that I'm making, I'm already working on, and I'm actually following a tutorial online, uh, code with Anya Kubo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It basically is showing me how to make a portfolio website with the basic skills that I'm learning right now. She actually does like a great job walking, walking you through. I highly recommend this tutorial. She's a great teacher and it's very beginner friendly. So I highly recommend watching her video if you wanna learn how to make one of these portfolios. So I should have my portfolio up and running exactly how she made it within the next couple days. Then I'm gonna upload it to Bluehost where it's gonna be hosted with the domain name of timstatler.com. So this is what I've done today so far. It's just basically the landing page. I also made my own logo, it's just my initials, and I love it because it's like T-Money. But uh, anyway, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it pretty much exactly how she's making it, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add on to it, I'm going to add some more features because when you do pick up a project like this and you follow somebody's tutorial and you want to put it on your resume or something or you want it to be some projection of the work that you've done, uh, you want it put in your own original work you don't want it to be otherwise it's like plagiarism in my opinion so so I'm gonna keep working on this I should have this up and running uh, by the end of the week yeah so that's pretty much it uh, you know you're more than welcome to follow along with me and watch these videos on a daily basis or just tune in occasionally you're also more than welcome to do your own 100 days of code I actually highly recommend it it's a great way to hold yourself accountable and you know, develop a, a solid skill set in a matter of just a few months. So that's it. That wraps it up. My goals by the end of the 100 days is to really have a good understanding of front end web development and to have uh, a few projects to actually put on this resume here or this portfolio. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that's all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.